Hi everyone, how is it going? So things are toughening up, okay? It's uh, getting more hectic. People are making some unreasonable demands. Uh, for example, in our law firm, we have our new client, a new client. Okay, great, we're happy to see you. And in our client care and legal mission agreement, which we signed uh, two weeks ago with him, we set out that we will execute the legal task and uh, the legal mission within, at the very latest, one month, around the 15th of October. Nonetheless, the guy has been emailing us and uh, it's a pretty like in-depth legal mission, okay? It's something we have to do quite a lot of research about, read quite a lot of stuff. Um, and also he had not provided us with the uh, with the contracts um, that were underpinning the, um, the dispute on which we have to do some legal research. So obviously, first things first, I asked him for the copy of the, um, of the contract so that I could review them and see the termination letter, etc. So without going too much into details, because this is all protected by the uh, attorney, I mean, uh, you know, uh, solicitor, attorney, lawyer, client privilege, uh, the confidentiality privilege, he was on the phone with us and by email, you know, the following day after sending us the, uh, the contract uh, and then every day since. So he sent us the contracts for us to review on, on, on Wednesday and then an email on, on the first day saying, so, okay, so when are we going to get your legal opinion? Well, he knows that this is like, a, you know, 10 hours job or something. So, um, and then he's been, you know, calling us three or four times on Friday. I'm sorry if his behavior is unreasonable and unacceptable. So this is an example of what we are, you guys, because it's not only, you know, in our law firm, it's everywhere. So this is the kind of behavior you are going to contend with in the next few, you know, weeks. People are going to be unreasonable. People are going to be vicious and, um, and um, aggressive, okay? This is in the air. This is like, I don't really want to go too much into details. This is the passage we're going to go through. I need to put my shades back because I've got green eyes and there's a lot of sun so I hope you understand so basically you have to brace yourself um, in my last video my previous video I was telling you you guys you know you need to clean your shit you need to you know resolve disputes if there are some outstanding disputes you know you know resolve bad debt issues and all you know all this you need to clean the slate okay getting ready for 2022 and also um, we're seeing at the moment in the creative industries lots of fashion, lots of trade shows going on in, in person actually for a change as opposed to just virtual and Zoom and stuff. And so that's great. But then there's going to be the cycle, the cycle of creation of the, you know, of fulfilling all these orders which have been taken uh, and, and um, executed during those trade shows. And that is, you know, going to improve your P&L in around two or three months once your clients have paid you. So. Basically, the, mo the wheel is go getting back into motion again, but that is going to create some friction because people have done fuck oh, excuse my French, for, you know, uh, six months to a year to a year and a half, you know, just uh, um, sucking the tits of the state, <laughs> if I may say so, uh, by getting all the grants and help and, uh, and um, uh, you know, like live a full... Uh, 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 I can't remember what it was called in the UK, but... Uh, uh, it's not foreclosure or fulfillment, but it's something with an F, uh, where you basically, the furlough, the furlough scheme and all that, that jazz. So yeah, great. You, you guys have been sucking the tits of the state for uh, a year and a half, but now it's, you know, this is over. This is finished. The deaths, the states, as I said, the governments are super indebted. Yesterday there was an article about the Paris uh, town hall, okay, the city of Paris in France. The <laughs> debt levels have increased to 600 million euros. They have increased of 200% in, uh, in 20 years, I think. It's something ridiculous. And this is only for the city of Paris. And I can guarantee you, this is not the, the only, you know, um, uh, government uh, entity which is, on the, you know, ec extremely indebted, the, the, the governments of France and the UK and the US as well, US monstrously indebted, are in dire straits. So they're going to tax, okay? And they're definitely going to stop the follow scheme and all that stuff. This is over, okay? So there's going to be a lot of tension because 
people don't really want to do that, okay? They were happy sucking the tits of, uh, of a uh, so, sort of uh, uh, mummy state, 90 states, and uh, now they got to grind it, right? They got to get, get back to work and do the work and uh, uh, eat their, what they kill. So there's going to be this sort of fighting spirit coming back. And, um, and as I said, it's not easy to resolve disputes as well. When you want to actually, you know, resolve and clean the slate and deal with the old shit, which has been dragging on forever, well, you have to confront the people who are actually, you know, uh, stuck in a rut and uh, getting you stuck in a rut as well because of all these disputes. So it's going to be tough. Going, going is going to get tougher around, you know, uh, 6th of October, mid-October. So you need to get ready for this. And there's going to be also quite a lot of uh, lawsuits, a lot of litigation, um, because, because there's going to be this sort of, you know, desire to actually achieve equity, achieve uh, balance and fairness. And um, more and more entities, uh, uh, legal entities and people, natural persons, are going to file lawsuits. Um, we've seen this in France, for example, where the ex-Ministry of Health, who I think was totally useless, to be honest, uh, I think her name is Agnès Buzyn, uh, and she will, had lots of conflict of interest, I understand, as well, with the um, with, uh, with, uh, 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 drug companies. So anyway, she's been indicted, right? She's been indicted for mismanaging the COVID-19 crisis. So this is just an example, but there's going to be more and more legal actions being uh, filed uh, because people want fairness, they want results, they want, uh, you know, if they have rights, they're going to enforce these rights. And that is going to happen from now and, you know, and moving forward, but especially this is going to be, uh, you're going to feel this, guys, um, uh, especially around um, the 6th of October onwards. So, um, yeah, brace yourself for all this, because... Um, it's going to get tough, but we have to evolve and, um, you know, as a civilization towards more fairness, towards more uh, rights being enforced, if there are some rights, of course, of course, if you don't have any rights and there's nothing to enforce. But if you have some rights or if in all reasonableness you should have some rights, then it's time to actually make a statement and get what you deserve. Um, obviously, if you ha owe uh, something to other people, it's also time to actually you know, uh, fulfill your commitment. So there's going to be a lot of that, a lot of requests for justice, right, going on. So that's good, hopefully, for our law firm. Uh, although, as I said, we definitely have to set some boundaries with our, you know, uh, current clients, ex-clients. What we've noticed this year as well is, of course, quite a lot of uh, current clients and ex-clients have actually filed uh, some claims uh, against our law firm to actually get back some of their legal fees, attempting to... Uh, uh, to, uh, to say that we had overcharged them. And we just received the decisions from um, the, um, the Paris bar uh, recently um, in relation to one of his cases. And um, the Paris bar, who, uh, who had organized a court hearing back in June, um, um, to which we had at our law firm, Clifrovi, had sent a lot of um, uh, justification, showing that we had an enormous amount of work, in particular in relation to his outlaw dispute, they came back and said, no, we reject your claim that um, actually Crifo V overcharged you. So um, there's been a lot of that in 2021, you know, clients who are trying to actually get some money back from us because it's a crisis. So, hey, you're going to try, you know, every uh, option to get your money back, even if um, we didn't uh, our job, you know, in the appropriate manner at our law firm Crifo V as the uh, uh, Paris bar is actually... Uh, the Paris Bar is the first decree jurisdiction which actually looks at all these claims about um, assessing the uh, amount of the legal fees of lawyers. So they came back to us they, um, and um, uh, issued a decision uh, which confirmed that our law firm had actually uh, billed our clients correctly. And we had another case like this earlier this year and that was settled out of court. And actually, uh, in this particular instance, uh, the client uh, owned own us uh, some money and uh, we settled on a lesser figure, uh, which was fine by us, um, uh, which they paid. And uh, uh, this outstanding 
lesser amount of our legal fees. We settle that. Uh, both parties said that they will stop every uh, you know claim against uh, each other, uh, so our, against our law firm and, and us against our ex-client. That was that. But 2021 has been a tough year because we had to contend with this shit. Excuse my French, but it was shit because we did we do a great job for our client. And, you know, sometimes in a crisis, some of our clients are just trying to play this game where they're saying, well, actually, you should refund us some legal fees because we, uh, you overcharged us. Well, bullshit, we didn't. And that, you know, reinforces us at Crefervi, this decision from the Paris Bar, and I can guarantee you something. The people from the Paris Bar are really bitchy, really bitchy. I mean, seriously, you have no idea. One day I will explain what I mean by this, but by what I'm trying to say, is that there's not a lot of impartiality, you know, impartial fairness and equity going under the Paris Bar organization. So this is why I was extremely pleased with the decision because I know, you know, there's a pack of serious bitches going on at, the, at this place. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm glad, you know, that our law firm and us lawyers at Crefervi are doing a great job. Um, and we are recognized as, you know, a fair and, uh, and um, um, efficient lawyers in our dealings with our clients. We don't like to be, uh, you know, uh, pushed over by some clients, as I explained earlier, because they get completely, you know, mad about, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on. It's in the air. People are getting super aggressive. So anyway, we'll deal with the situation with, with this, uh, a current client who is trying to... Uh, harass us with his uh, phone calls asking so when are you going to do the work when are you going to do the work i'm going to deal with the situation you know momentarily uh via email and phone call on monday i can guarantee you that uh to set some boundaries and you guys have got to do the same in your practice as a creative okay uh yes you're going to be going back to work yes you have to fulfill the orders of your clients but you know they should be reasonable okay and and of course, it's a matter now of uh, doing more marketing, finding new clients, going back to the trade shows for you guys, and also cleaning the slate, as I said, to get in good fo uh, form for 2022. Uh, the objective now is not to crash it, you know, in terms of PL for 2021. It's been a disastrous year in terms of money. Right, I think we all made, uh, <laughs> we all made our, uh, our, our peace with that. Uh, but um, it's just a matter of preparing the next step, right? And yeah, I mean, you know, sorry, preparing the next step and, uh, and doing it correctly and uh, doing the work now so that you don't have to pay the consequences of fucking about, uh, you know, comes uh, October, November. Because if you don't do the work now, right now, you will actually have to pay the consequences in October, November. Not in a good way. Okay? So hang in there, people. Get all the courage you can get, all the grit, all the energy, without being over aggressive. Okay, it's a matter of trying finding the right balance between using, channeling this energy and this strength and this grit into something constructive, positive, and um, and creative, and avoid knee-jerk reactions. Take time, you know, to reflect before you act. Um, if need be, then even slow down. Uh, but you know, while still following your your goals, your medium term to long term goals. Okay, this is like a marathon. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Okay, you want to be there up until you're 120 years old. Okay, you don't want to uh, to be part of the uh, of the of a group of a 27 years old. Um, I'm sure you understand what I mean by this. Just to Google it. Anyway. Have a good weekend and um, I'll be back in touch soon. Bye, guys.